Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. Now, it's come to my attention that a lot of you are not subscribed, and that's just silly. Don't be silly, be subscribed. Today's video is about set number 6160. That's right folks, four digits. We're going old school. This set is from 1998, it's part of the Aquazone Stingrays line, it is called the Sea Scorpion. Uh, it had 281 pieces and originally retailed for $34.99. Uh, if you wanted to get this used on Bricklink, uh, various states of completion, you can get some uh, starting around $59-ish. Uh, there are only 11 of these listed there, by the way, uh, two of which are sealed, um, both located in the United States, one for $240 and the other for 265 Now, I purchased this from the Netherlands for 45 euros, I believe, but shipping gutted me. I ended up paying a total of 75 If I do my math correctly, it was 45 euros to purchase, 25 to ship, and then four to, uh, for like a fee or something. I what 79 or something I, I don't know it came yeah 75 or something I'm, I'm not good at math off the top of my head uh it came out to 80 dollars and six cents usd um it was advertised as complete with box that wasn't in great condition but it came with the manual uh, it does not have the inner lining of the box i think you can see there there's no inner liner on that unfortunately and the box is not in the greatest shape but it, you know, it seemed like one of the more decent listings there. Um, and then I got a little extra bonus with this. I don't think the seller realized that they were storing all these extra parts in there. But what turns out to be uh, the set number 6140 Crab. Everything except the minifigure and then like the little grippy piece, like there's one of these right here, comes with it. The entire set, basically, in there. And then, also, almost the entire set of 6110 Solo Sub. It's missing a few pieces, uh, but it comes with the minifigure, except for his like helmet. But it's almost complete. <clears throat> and that's just crazy to me. But there's more, not just those three sets, but there's even more pieces. These go to the largest Stingray set that they had. I don't know what the others are for, but I mean, that's basically an extra $15 worth of set plus the extra, extra pieces. So I'm not too put out by the 80 bucks I spent. Um, the stats for these guys, this is one of them, uh, 616, uh, 6140 Crab Set is also from 1999, had 78 pieces, retailed for $9.99, and uh, if you want it just that, not the box or anything, you can get it for $10. Uh, there are two of them listed for $76 a piece if you want it sealed. They also had a second version of this, which was 6109 Sea Creeper. It is the exact same set, except it came strapped to a giant Manta base plate, which is actually pretty cool. If you look that part up, it's like 40 or 50 bucks by itself. Uh, and then the Solo Sub, which I just snapped in half. Goodness. Goodness me. There's supposed to be a uh, 1x6 across that, but it did not come with that. Uh, you can get this um, for about five to ten dollars. It was originally uh, for three ninety nine for a twenty five piece set, so it was one of the small ones. Uh, this is part of the Hydronauts um, line, so you had the Stingrays and the Hydronauts and several other guys in there. Um, there's one sealed listing for $46 for that. So a $4 originally priced set sealed for $46. I mean, if you really want that sealed, 
I'd say go for it. <clears throat> but let's get back to the main one, the C Scorpion. Like I said, this retailed for $35, which isn't a bad deal for something this big, you know? It's pretty decent size, you know, 281 pieces, 35 bucks. Came with three minifigures. Uh, you can see them down here, right here. Down here, right here, yeah. Uh, so this is Commander Manta Ray. I am missing his left hand. Uh, he comes in two sets, goes for about $3. Then next to him is Navigator Stinger Ray. Also comes in two sets. And goes for about four dollars. I don't know why he's a uh, dollar more. Um, maybe there's fewer listings for him. And then this guy over here, he's strapped into there, uh, is Raven Ray. I'm pretty sure he's just like the uh, the grunt of the crew. Actually, comes in three sets. And he goes for about two to three dollars a piece. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't really think there's any more for that. Uh, the minifigure for the crab is the same as one of these i'm pretty sure it's uh either one of him or one of him so you know a couple bucks and then the minifigure for the solo sub this is the crystal miner comes in two sets goes for about two bucks um so there's not a lot of value in those figures um you know it's it's a an original product line from Lego, so it's not like they were characters from an IP or anything. Um, mostly the the value of these sets are if they're sealed and, you know, what condition they're in. Uh, with all those stats talked about, um, let's take a peek at this 26-year-old set. It's pretty cool. It's got a lot of uh, trans-clear yellow... He's got a tail here that wiggles. Propellers that move. You got a bunch of those. This nifty little feature here is a little clacky clack grabber claw thingy. Um, along with the hand that I'm missing, I'm missing two little harpoons here. These little guys over there. Uh, just two of them. But other than that, this is 100% complete. So I'd say it's like 99%, which um, is pretty awesome. Uh, this up here pops off and gets his little, woo, he got little grabber claws. Set this here. Little grabbers. They don't make these anymore. These, uh, hinges. They're really cool. A lot of the sets in this line and in this time frame used them. Um... They just slide together. You know, a lot of these parts, they're very thin. They tend to snap off. So I'm pretty sure that's why they stopped making those. But you got a bunch of them here. There's not really many other features on that part. Um, I already showed you the tail. But the end of it pops off. And this front pops off. And they combine to like a little submersible. It's cute. Put that back there. And then this rear hatch opens up. It's basically all the features. You got these. There's one on each side here. That's where the crystals are being held. Uh, I think these are like floodlights and stuff. A lot of trans clear stuff. It's pretty nifty. This hatch opens. There's not a lot going on in there. Um, it's pretty cool to look at. There's not really a whole lot going for it. As far as like stuff to talk about, honestly. Uh, we're going to look over here at the crab. He's got these little parts that you can kind of move. He's got these arms, propellers, a little hatch in the back, with the crystal, and uh, the top hatch. And it comes with a little shrub. And then this guy is the same thing. It's just the hatch, 
him, he had like these um, headlight things on his helmet. It was pretty nifty. Um, here's the box if you guys want to take a look at it. It is not in the best condition. It's pretty beat up, but you got a bunch of alternate build ideas you can do with it. A little spaceship-like. And then I'll show you the inside here. This panel opens up and shows you all the stuff. And you are used to be able to see all the stuff in some of these. They'd have this panel that opens and it, it was a pretty cool feature. They don't really do it much anymore. Oh, I forgot to show you the uh, this little hose grabby thing. Pops in there. You can have a Minifigure, grab that little bar and manipulate it around. Um, if you want to put your minifigures in the ship, you can put your uh, little flippers up here on these. Like this one here goes to him. And uh, yeah, there's, there's not a lot else to say about this. Uh, it's 26 years old. It's got some pretty neat features. Uh, it's mostly just a nostalgia thing. I saw uh, Bricks and Minifigs had a couple of these as certified uh, use sets. And, I mean, they, they were selling it for 80 bucks. That's why when I saw this and all the shipping and everything came out to 80 bucks, I was like, yeah, that's fine. I get the box at least. Because the the one, one of the two that they were selling um, didn't have the box. The other one did. And it was okay. It didn't have the tray. I don't know if it came with the instructions, but I paid the same amount and I got two little extra things and some more pieces. So I think I, I, I got a decent deal. Um, I did not actually have a lot of these sets. I think I only had one, maybe two like really itty bitty ones. And then I had one, I think it was the crystal crawler, which I got to put that back together. Um, and yeah, I didn't really have any more of the Aquazone sets. Uh, there was only a couple of them. You got this little one, a little, like, little sub thing, and then the big, big manta ray shaped one of these. Those go for like a hundred something bucks. Maybe one day I'll pick one up. But if you guys remember Aquazone, you know, let me know in the comments. Um, oh yeah, the bottom of this, I didn't show the bottom. Not really anything going on down there. You have some really interesting parts, because like this one right here, that's one big piece. This part here, it goes all the way around, that's a big piece. They don't use those anymore, they don't make those anymore. They don't use these hinges anymore. These grabbers, yeah, there's a whole bunch of old stuff on these they don't make anymore. Oh, and then there was one thing in the instructions I wanted to show you guys. So, most of the time they'll use, like, digital images. Like, it's clearly made through a computer, right? But near the very end, let's check, right here, they use an actual picture. Like, that is completely different from that. That's definitely a computer program that looks like it's an actual photograph which is wild i don't understand why they just decided hey we're gonna flip it over and do that it might have been i mean it can have been that they couldn't flip it over because you have other let's see if i can find one yeah right here they've got these where it's upside down like, you know, they were fully capable. Maybe they weren't able to put the whole thing upside down. Because most of these aren't that big when you flip them. Actually, no, they're... Yeah, so you got this small one that's flipped upside down. And then that last one I showed you. And then this entire thing is flipped upside down. And it's... That is a full-on photograph. Which I noticed that while I was putting this together, I was like, that, "That's just wild." I don't, I don't get why they decided to do that. 
Or maybe they didn't have the the file for it and they forgot to do it and they had to take a picture after the fact. I don't know. But here's what was on the back of the box. Um, the instructions are actually not in a bad shape. But anyways, yeah, let me know what you think. It was a big nostalgia hit for you guys. Uh, and uh, I'm going to try to see if I can put together some of my older sets. Because I know there's a whole bunch of waves. Like I have some Arctic stuff here. Mission to Mars. The, uh... What is it? Look, Johnny Thunder. I got stuff like that to put together. Good stuff. Good stuff. Alright, well, if you like it, like it. If you didn't, let me know why. You know, comments are open. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.